Hello my beautiful butterflies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beverly, and it is lovely to see you today. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you about my favorite vintage YouTubers of 2021. So grab that cup of tea, let's get to it. So on Monday I did a video all about my favourite witchy YouTubers and I really enjoyed making that. I think it's important when it's a new year to shout out the people who are inspiring you, who are helping you grow and making you feel good. Those are the people that you... I love my husband but sometimes I cheerfully kill him. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so I, I think it's important to give shout outs to the people who mean something to you because those are the people that really help you to feel good. They're the people that you spend a lot of time with, especially when you've got chronic illnesses like me. YouTube is what I watch when I'm lying in bed not feeling well or I have a headache. These are the people that I hang around with. These are my favourite vintage YouTubers. So if you're interested in vintage fashion, you enjoy my fashion videos, you'll probably enjoy these people don't forget if you're new here you can click the subscribe button to become part of the butterfly family we would love to have you join us here we have lots of fun if you enjoy the content here don't forget to like comment subscribe do all the things stick around but right now let's get to it so before i start with my list i do want to give a couple of honorable mentions because i do want to concentrate on people who have smaller channels but there's a few channels that are humongously huge <laughs> that I absolutely love and never miss their videos. A little bit of an honourable mention to them. The first one is Bernadette Banner. Her videos are incredible. She is like if you took a Victorian woman and plonked her in the now, that's how she is. I absolutely love that woman. I think she's so cool. The second person is Jessica in the closet or Jessica Kelgren Fozard. She just had a little baby with her wife. She talks about LBGTQ and disability and she dresses vintage. And she is who I first, she was the first YouTuber that I saw that dressed vintage. And it basically is why I dress vintage now. So that is something that I really feel like I need to just say thank you, Jessica. Thank you. And last but certainly not least is Rachel Maxi. I love that woman. Oh my gosh. She does cosplay. She does lookbooks. She does a lot of sewing. She's amazing. I absolutely love her. So links to everybody, including the honourable mentions, will be down below. Go and check everybody out. Tell them I sent you. Beverly Butterfly sent me here. But let's do this. So the first person I want to talk about is the air effect. This woman has... Her channel is mainly lookbooks, slow living. She's got five ch five children, four, five, five children, I think. And it's all about slow living and she's always promising book content. Her name is The Air Effect and she keeps saying book content, come on, we love you, give us the book content. But whatever she does, I watch her videos. She is incredible. I love her because she's this beautiful, curvy, plus size woman who loves fashion, who looks incredible in everything she wears and who makes me feel like you know what I might feel rubbish about my body but it's not about your body size it's about how you feel about yourself you are beautiful when you feel beautiful you're sexy when you feel sexy it comes from confidence not what size body you have and that's something that's incredible she does talk about mental health and body positivity as well her instagram is and her TikTok is amazing. So go follow all the places. I will have links down below. What was that? Next up we have It's a Charming Life. Lindsay and Jonas, two of my favourites. And I love that they're a couple that dress vintage. I am constantly sending pictures of Jonas to my husband because I really want my husband to dress vintage with me. And he's just like, he looks good. I'd look like a tit. I don't think you would, babe. I really don't. But I love this channel so much. We started out pretty much at the same time like and she's just woof their channel has hit the roof they are amazing they do beautiful photography their vlogs are incredible they do look books and a lot about slow living in a cottage they live in this little cute cottage Jonas is an artist he has an amazing Etsy page I will leave a link to that down below as well but they are just two incredibly lovely people 
they're really nice people and they just exude this lovely calming energy their channel you could just I quite often re-watch their videos in bed when I'm not feeling well because it just transports me to another world I would love them to make a film I just they're amazing their voiceovers incredible I love them her style is just like the dream if I could have her wardrobe I'd be happy I love them and I've followed them for a long time and I just think your life will be better if you follow it's a charming life <laughs> I do I'm laughing because it's such an insane thing to say but their vlogs are incredible they live near Sleepy Hollow you know with the headless horsemen and all of that and they do a lot of really beautiful vlogs in that area and when they have special events and stuff they do videos their Instagram is beautiful and it's all kind of like dark cottage core I just oh I love it next up is Stephanie Canada <laughs> I did do a video a kind of collab with her once so I'll link with that video down below as well but Stephanie Canada is one of my favorites because she just makes me laugh so much like just thinking about this woman makes me smile and that's what you want in a youtuber you want somebody who's going to lift you up make you feel happy make you feel yeah just overjoyed and happy and the positivity just exudes from her she has a vintage pattern and vintage fabrics shop so i'll leave a link to that down below her channel is a lot about vintage patterns how to take care of them how to read them she does this really amazing thing where she's like she takes the vintage pattern and she takes the reproduction of that vintage pattern and like takes the pattern like line by line and takes you through why the reproduction is not as good as the original so interesting I've learned so much about patterns because as you all know I've just started sewing you'll have a new video next week by the way of sewing I'm so excited to share that with you all but yeah she I learned so much about how to read patterns and how to understand what patterns look like and how to read them from her channel so if you're thinking of starting sewing go and check out some of those videos because you will start to understand how to read them better she's sewing she does look books and comedy her channel is just a delight an absolute delight just go and check her out she's so funny i love her and she's a complete nerd i love her i just go and check her out you won't regret it you won't and check out the video i made with her where she sent me some beautiful pans that i'm hoping to be good enough at sewing at to be able to sew them one day hopefully but they're amazing yes anyway <laughs> what <laughs> next up is Celinda nichols oh this girl she's american but she lives in england she has gorgeous hair the color of her hair is amazing her style is incredible she does a lot of look books thrifting videos she does sustainable fashion and vlogs around her area as she explores england and i just love her style i love the way she talks she's got this like english american accent where she's like she's taken on the english accent but she's still got this american twang to it i just love that and her style is so adorable and I learned so much about different sustainable fashion brands that I didn't know about because I mainly just thrift and occasionally buy from like Collective. This is Lindy Bop, R.I.P. <laughs> But yeah, this is Lindy Bop. So learning about fashion houses that do stuff that's my style, that are good for the environment and treat their people well, that's what it's all about. So she's amazing. I really enjoy her. She's she's so like sweet and she seems like she'd be really fun to hang out with. I hope one day I get to meet her in person because I just think she just seems like such a nice person. So yeah, and she's got a gorgeous cat. Yes, I just remembered the cat. Oh, I love kitty cat. Anyway, yeah, that's Celinda. Next up is Hayley Marie Vintage. I recent, I only recently started following Hayley. I'll be honest with you, I discovered her through Stephanie Canada because she went with Stephanie and another girl to, they went to this like old warehouse where this woman stored all her, for a shop that she had. So all her patterns and material and everything were kept from like the 60s. And they had these, amazing troll they just bought so much stuff and i just enjoyed her personality she seems like she'd be quite quiet but i like that because i'm like that in person i'm i'm quite quiet i can be very shy and reserved seeing somebody else who clearly 
struggles with anxiety and other mental health issues like I do on like seeing that in somebody else amazing just being seen that's why I started sharing about my disability journey and my my mental health issues and things and if you want to learn more about my the things that I have you can follow my blog that's down below all that contents now on my blog but I just really appreciate seeing that in somebody else she does a lot of thrifting sewing and again her cat is so cute she's called spooky how cute is that and I love her sewing she does a lot like she's not been sewing long like me but she's been sewing longer than me and she explains how she constructs everything and how she changes a pattern and things so well that I can follow it I'm like learning from her as she steps up in her sewing so I really appreciate that I appreciate how she explains things I'm sure as I grow and I know how to explain how things are I'll be able to explain them as well but I really appreciate learning from her her channel is really nice really relaxed i i just yeah go go check her out her cat's so cute she deserves more followers i'm sorry but she does number six is cat's costumery oh this is a girl i don't know where she's from originally she has an accent but she lives in edinburgh she's doing a degree or a post degree something like that in historical sewing or historical fashion oh her channel is just a dream it's all like dark cottage core historical sewing <laughs> I absolutely love that. She makes things like corsets and she makes the underwear and she she has everything just beautifully put together, wonderfully sewn. Again, she explains everything really well so I can understand what she's talking about, kind of. But I can understand what she's talking about and I really, really appreciate when people explain what they're doing instead of just like, I just did this and then does a transition. Then I did this, then a transition. Because I want to hear how you did it. I appreciate that not everybody likes to explain things or knows how to explain things but I appreciate when people do and so with Hayley and Kat's costumery I really really appreciate that go follow Kat because she's really good and I just I love her little vlogs and things that she does around Edinburgh and I really appreciate the fact that when she's done a sewing project she'll go somewhere to like show off the outfit and the backdrop of Edinburgh is just perfect for doing the type of sewing that she does oh it's beautiful I love it and last but certainly not least is Bella May's designs now Oh, Bella's I mean she's only young she's she looks like she's young like in her 20s and yet her knowledge of sewing it's like she was born to be a sewist is sewist the right word milliner no is that hats I don't know anyway she's incredible she does beautiful ball gowns she started doing a new series where it's like ball gowns inspired by characters she did the hobbit and then last time she did spider-man and can i just say spider-man ball gown for like a red tie event oh it was beautiful but my favorite video series she ever did was recreating the cinderella dress the cinderella dress you know the bl big ball gown in the new cinderella oh so and the thing is she doesn't it's not just like one video video it's a whole series of videos and she recreated the dance the amount of effort and time and patience that she puts into her designs that she puts into her videos I just am amazed by her talent she's so creative and I love watching her design her own clothing because that's something I can't imagine doing maybe one day but I watch her and I'm just like you're incredible you're amazing how do you do this well done yes we're all here clapping you you're amazing I just feel like you know Wayne and Garth not worthy but I love her anyway she's absolutely amazing her videos are so well done she just deserves all the success in the world and I hope one day she goes on to do something on Broadway or something because she just deserves that that level because her attention to detail is incredible that was a lot of vintage dresses sewers people and they all inspire me so much and I just want to give them all a shout out don't forget to head down to the description and all the links to instagrams and tiktoks and shops and places will be down there all the links that I can find for everybody will be down below if you enjoyed this video and I hope you did don't forget to head down below leave it a cheeky little like so I know that you enjoyed it and I can bring 
more like this to the channel in future while you're down there leave me a comment tell me are you watching any of these people already is there anybody i should be watching do you have a vintage fashion youtube channel should i be watching you let me know all the things down below i always love chatting to everybody here and last but certainly not least if you like my content if you like my face don't forget to head down below hit that subscribe button ring that little bell so you always know when i upload i'm usually here mondays and fridays my health permitting i always do my very best to be here with you every week twice a week have a wonderful wonderful weekend everyone take care and i'll see you next time bye